Hey, my name is Liz and I sell on Poshmark, eBay, and Macari. And today I have another thread up, sorry, that probably shook the camera, DIY designer box. Now this box is pretty big and heavy. Um, I don't know if it says the weight on here, but it's definitely bigger than the last few that I've gotten. So hopefully that's a good sign. Um, I have not looked in it yet. My dog decided to sleep right there as I set up to film this. Um, <laughs> but so we have the tissue paper and let's see. Okay, so we have a leather jacket, it looks like on top, which could be interesting. Um, all I'm seeing is clothes so far, but let's see. Okay, this is Nicole Miller, which I would not say is designer. I'm guessing it's probably on their designer list, but that is barely name brand in my opinion. So it's a big leather jacket. Um, it's got like a zip closure. It kind of is pretty early 2000s style. Um, it is quite large and heavy. So that explains the weight. It is an XXL, so that's cool. Um, <laughs> this is Mason. Um, so, I mean, designer, no. Decent piece, I guess. Um, I don't usually pick up leather jackets, nor do I usually pick up Nicole Miller, but um, hopefully I can get at least like 50 bucks for this. It seems... To be in okay shape so far so not a great start we'll see how we do okay um this is better this is weekend max mara which is a max mara line i've never noticed like a particular difference between the different lines um so this is really cute perfect time of year it is fall as i film this um let's see if we can find the size okay that would be why thread up did not take it because this tag was cut out and that's where the size usually is for max mara stuff um so i will do some measurements i'm gonna say it's like a small or a medium but this is super cute i'm happy with that piece okay we do have some shoes thank god okay so this is escada i'm gonna say it's vintage this is quite an interesting blouse. <laughs> um, it kind of has like <laughs> colonial <laughs> vibes to it. Um, the cuffs are like massive. Um, it's definitely a unique style. So that's cool if, um, see like this very interesting cuff. Um, I would imagine this is women's and it's a pretty bigger size too. So we'll see how this does. Escada isn't, um, the best reselling, but, um, it's kind of a unique piece. I do often send Escada to thread up when I find it at the thrift store, but I try not to send this stuff back to thread up because, um, of the high cost of goods. So... We have another Alice and Olivia. I keep getting these in my boxes. Um, and I think it's because the sizes um, are often missing. So we have a little dress. It is very tiered. Um, this is all mesh with little flowers on it. So this is cute. Um, I imagine this has no size, yeah. So the Alice and Olivia tags are always like these rubber size tags on the side and they're very often missing so that is not surprising if that's the only flaw we can work with that um what i usually will try to do is i'll take the measurements and then i'll see if i can find any of the same item in someone else's closet with measurements and try and compare the sizing to those um so Two for no sizing, and now we have three pairs of shoes in here. So, pull out these sneaker looking ones. And these are pretty cute. 
These are Brunello Cuccinelli. So we got that in another one of my boxes. Made in Italy. The bottoms are in really pretty good shape. There's maybe a little heel, heel drag on that one, but not bad. They're really quite good. Size 37. Um, it's a minor scuffing, but these are in pretty great shape. Um, I have no idea what these will go for, but the condition is great. Hopefully we can get like a hundred bucks on those ones. And then we have some sandals. So they're kind of like a T-strap. This style is a little dated, but um, let's see. Okay, the brand is Landvin, Lanvin, Landvin. On these, I got a pair in another box um, that were in pretty horrible condition. So I haven't listed those yet, but it looked like maybe like around the $50 price range on those little booties. Um, so I'm going to say these will probably be like 40 bucks, but they seem to be in pretty good shape. The heels kind of fun. The bottoms have some wear, but nothing horrible. So definitely sellable shoes. Um, I'm glad to see the heels are in pretty good shape because there's not too much you can do with the metallic. And then last we have some pretty intense booties here. So I can see that the heels on both of them, I could tell right when I picked it up, have a good bit of wear, but um, I'll use some leather dye and clean them up a little bit so they at least look neater. Um, the toes seem pretty good, so let's see. Okay, so these are Balmain, which is awesome. I've never sold Balmain shoes before, but I'm pretty sure it's Balmain, but also the Giuseppe Zanotti logo. So I don't know if there was some kind of collab between Balmain and Giuseppe Zanotti, but that's interesting. They're both great brands of shoes. So these are also a size 41, which is my size, but there's no way I'd wear these. So um, too bad, like, these weren't in my size. I would wear those. Um, so I think these are probably the winner of the box. Um, even with that heel wear, I think they're still pretty sellable. Um, and we'll see what we can do about that. But otherwise, they're in really nice shape besides those poor heels. But, like, I don't know if you'll be able to tell with the black, but... You can see they have some wear there, but these are pretty awesome. Um, so I'm definitely excited about these. These should probably pay for the whole box, I would imagine. Um, so that is awesome. And yeah, um, an interesting mix of stuff. I'm glad to have shoes. My last two boxes had no shoes in them. Um, so the three pairs of shoes was good. Brunello Cuccinelli is a good brand. I just have no idea what these would resell for but um i think since the condition is so good on them that i'm really happy about those we'll see about the landvin sandals um and then the clothes aren't too bad i mean um this is really great i think i should get more than i'm hoping like in like the 75 dollar range on that one we'll see about this funky escada blouse and then this Alice and Olivia is pretty cute. Um, hopefully I, I don't have too hard of a time with the size. Um, I'm gonna, like, if I had to guess, I would say it's probably like a medium, but yeah. So, and then the jacket, um, hopefully I can get like 50 bucks for it and just double the investment. It's so heavy, but this is such a weird piece for them to send in a designer box. Um, I got a couple other brands in my last few that I would definitely not consider to be designer, like Trina Turk. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm happy with this box. Definitely excited to get those Balmain shoes listed and see if there's a collab between Balmain and Giuseppe Zanotti because 
I'm 99% sure that's what that second logo was. So really interesting. Um, oh, also this one came from Pennsylvania. Um, historically, my worst designer boxes have come from there. Um, I am also closest to that location. So I feel like sometimes my stuff is like more likely to come from there, but we'll see. Um, at least there were shoes this time. So thank you for watching. Um, hopefully some of this is listed in my Poshmark by the time you see this video and I'll see you next time. Thanks.